Hi guys, my name is Gloria and today I'm going to be walking you through how to install a Dempier. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download Postgres, have JDK, I would say also have the JRE of the same one. So if this is 1.643 then also have the JRE 1.643 because I had some trouble about this. With this you need Eclipse Galileo and JBoss which I think it'll come when you download the other three. It'll come with something with Java. So the first thing you need to do is in your cookbook, well, let's download Postgres first. So you all you have to do is Google it, download Postgres, and this is how to spell it. And then whatever kind of computer you have, I have Windows, so I would download Windows and, and that's it, and then install it. So it's pretty straightforward. And then for Java 1.6, they have all these old ones. I use this one 43 and like although it doesn't seem like it's necessary at the moment to have the JRE because it just says JDK I would say get the JRE as well of the same one just like to avoid I don't know to avoid complications later whenever you use Eclipse so after you have that you're going to look at this code right here and they might update it so you can't just copy paste it so put it into your uh, browser to see if it works. So I copy pasted this and then I put in here and see how the code is different. So copy this and then I guess I controlled C but I can like that. And then you're going to make a new folder in your, in your C drive. So I called it 360. I made a new folder and this is how it would look. So new, then I would say whatever I want to call it, a dump here. 360 info whatever you want to call it and then right click it and you should have Tortoise SBN downloaded as well I'll back go back up back I'll back up and go through that so first thing is create repository here and this everything that you do on your computer will probably be faster than how I'm doing it and I'll click OK um, might as well click that. And then I'm going to SVN checkout and that this is where I'm going to use my link. So I'm going to click on that. And so see how it's like already there, but I'm going to control V now, which was oh, let me back up. Paste it. So right click, paste. And then I'm going to click OK. And you would click OK. I already have it and it takes really long. It takes about 10 minutes for my computer to go through that whole thing to download the 250 megabytes, but you'll click OK and it'll start checking it out and it'll be done whenever you're done. So let me just delete this. So it'll come out like this and then you'll have, so this is the folder that I made and then this is the one after I checked it out and it'll have this kind of stuff in here. So just make sure yours will have a check mark everywhere before you like edit anything. Okay. So then you get Eclipse, right? Let me. So I downloaded Eclipse. So to download Eclipse, like this is what I did. Um. And once again, like this computer is really slow. Okay, so see. Then I just clicked on it, and this is how you would just download any type of program that you want. It's fairly straightforward. I can have the link below, and this is the one that I downloaded. Mine was a Windows 64 bit. You can download whichever one, and then you open it, right? So once you open it, you're going to. This isn't going to be here, so this is what you would do. You would click File. So pretend this isn't here. File import existing projects into workspace and then you would browse and then you would go to this one the one that you just that you just checked out and then you click OK and then there's a project in here so this I can't import it because it already exists um, and then you click finish and then it would just go in and that should be fairly straightforward and another thing to remember is once you go in now go into properties 
and then make sure that's 1.6 because, and also before you do any of this, you should delete any kind of existing Java stuff that you have, whether like maybe use 1.8 for a previous project. You should either like move it or delete it because this will like automatically, I guess if you're already going to like specific settings and you can have existing ones, but it'll create like, I had a lot of problems when I first did this. Click OK, that's it. Um, and then you're going to go to the drop down and go to utils underscore dev and you're going to right click this. And this is also important. In the cookbook, it's not going to say to do this, but I had to do this. Um, so you sh so ideally you can just click ant build and then in a minute it's going to like build the whole thing. Um, my computer is slow, so it took me um, 18 minutes, <laughs> right? Yeah, 18 minutes, 58 seconds, and 19 minutes. Other people, it'll probably take you under 10 minutes. Like max would be 10 minutes. But if you have like a fast computer and if you're already like doing this type of thing, yours would take really, really fast. So I don't think it's going to take this long. So first go, so instead of just going to ant build right away, go to external tools, configurations, and right here, go to JRE. And see, mine didn't have this at first. I only had the JDK 1.6. So then you would like go into install JREs. And then you'd have to add something in standard. And then you would have to go into your directory and like find whatever JRE you had. If it was like hidden somewhere, if it wasn't. Because um, this, my JDK wasn't even in my program files. Like this isn't even installed. It's just like a folder sitting in my C drive. Whereas this, this is installed, but it only found this. So I had this one checked and it didn't even have this here. So you just have to remember to like make sure because they're really, I don't know why it didn't automatically select that one because obviously you want a JRE and it chose a JDK. I don't know. So just make sure you have that and um, and then finally, after checking those two things, you just have to make sure that you have your Java like correctly specified now you can go to run as and do ant build and so once you do ant build this you won't have this i think because when i had a dump here previously i set vietnamese as a language so it has like some kind of warning here but you'll get this type of code can i bring this up whenever you see this kind of thing that means it's going right make sure you like i don't have any errors but you'll have a ton of warning so that's okay and then your build will be successful once you have that, see how this like created a bunch of stuff? So what has just been created is here. Under a dump here. And then just right click, copy, where to copy? Why can't I copy this? Oh, I didn't even right click it. <laughs> okay, copy. And once you copied it, then go back to your C drive and then paste it. And you see I already have it here. So just right click, paste. That's what you do. Um, and once you have this here, then you're going to run setup. And this is what it's going to look like. I'll just set up for me. Okay, this might take a while. Okay. And this will pop up, and this doesn't mean there's something wrong. This is like what it's supposed to do. Okay, and so make sure your Java home is the JDK, this, and this is going to be a Dempier. Remember to hit JBoss. This is not going to be at Postgres, and you just remember you downloaded I showed you the link. Um, it's going to auto, it, like the default is going to be Oracle, so you don't want to click Postgres. And then whenever you made Postgres, you chose a password, right? So this is going to be the password that you chose. Um, to save complication or forgetting it, I would say just name it Postgres. Your database password, this would be a Dempier. Okay. Actually, Keystore password, I don't think this is a Dempier. You might just leave that alone. Make sure this is localhost, a Dempier, and your database port. Earlier, whenever you made Postgres, you probably saw this number, so it's like very probable that it's going to be 5432. I here. this is the name of your, this isn't, um, this isn't important yet. So then you can click save. Uh, 
and I have an error and something just happened. <laughs> Um, so maybe you would make it like 8080. If that doesn't work, 8080. Or like 8443. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to save it because I don't want to mess with what already is working. And then you would go up to Utils, click Run Import Adempt here. A bunch of tables will show up. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> um, and then now, supposedly, you have a dump here, if I didn't mess anything up just now. Yeah, so I am in under a system right now because I had used earlier, but I would do garden admin and this is just the default and the password is going to be exact same thing. So garden admin and the G and the A were capital. That's it. Language English, unless you don't speak English. So yours will probably load right away. Okay. And this, this is all the same thing. Warehouse. I'm going to go fertilizer. You don't have to do that. This is just opening it up and there shouldn't be. It, it shouldn't matter whether it's like bike warehouse or fertilizer. And click no, don't click migrate because, because you don't want to mess anything up. Okay. And here it is! I hope you guys enjoyed spending your time with me, and hopefully you got a demp here to work. Um, have a lovely day or morning or evening. Thanks. Bye.